Welcome to Lost Love Mystery, where every story unravels a secret. So, let's dive into another story. For over a year, my life had been filled with silence. After my relationship ended, I worked hard to pull myself together, shut down all communication channels, and build a new life for myself. Then, one day, out of the blue, I received an email from my ex-girlfriend. This email felt like a bomb, not just because of its content, but also because of the emotions it stirred within me. She claimed she wanted to apologize and explain, but I was searching for something else in every word. Healing from betrayal wasn't easy, and now, after a year, this message was bringing everything back to the surface. Before I dive into my story, if you don't want your life to be turned upside down like mine, subscribe to my channel to learn real lessons from the real stories we share every day, just like mine. Also, share your thoughts about the shocking truths I've experienced in the comments, and please show your support by liking my video. Now that you've subscribed, let's dive into my story. Our relationship had lasted a year, and it was a great year. However, we unexpectedly broke up and got back together two days later. Everything started off well again until two weeks later when I found out she had cheated on me with two different men. One was a co-worker, and I confronted her about this. The other was an ex-boyfriend, which I learned about from one of her friends. She didn't know I knew about this second betrayal. A year ago, after the breakup, I decided to focus on myself. I immersed myself in self-improvement, hitting the gym regularly, reconnecting with friends, and even dating new people. I made it a point to move on, or at least try to. Then, without any warning, I received an email from her. I still remember the confrontation about her co-worker vividly. It was a rainy evening, the kind of weather that mirrored the turmoil inside me. I had seen the texts, the late-night calls, and the suspicious behavior. My heart pounded as I approached her. Who is he? I asked, trying to keep my voice steady. What are you talking about? She replied, looking genuinely confused. The guy from your work? I saw the messages. I said, handing her my phone with the evidence displayed. She glanced at the screen, and her face fell. I can explain, she stammered. Explain what? That you've been lying to me? My voice was rising, my emotions bubbling to the surface. It's not what it looks like, she pleaded, tears welling up in her eyes. We just talked, I swear. Talked? At midnight? Every night. My voice cracked, the pain seeping through. Do you think I'm a fool? She reached out to touch my arm, but I pulled away. I love you, she whispered, but it felt hollow, like an echo of something that had once been real. Love? Is this what love means to you? I asked, my voice trembling with anger and hurt. Sneaking around behind my back, lying to my face? The revelation about her ex-boyfriend came weeks later through a mutual friend who thought I deserved to know the full truth. I was sitting at a cafe, trying to enjoy a rare moment of peace, when my phone buzzed with a message. Hey, I thought you should know. She was seeing her ex too. The words blurred as I read them over and over. It was like being punched in the gut. The wind knocked out of me. How much more betrayal could I endure? I called her friend immediately. Are you sure about this? I asked, my voice shaky. Yes, she replied, her tone sympathetic. I didn't want to get involved, but you deserve to know the truth. Thank you, I said, hanging up, feeling a mix of gratitude and devastation. I felt like the ground had been pulled out from under me. For almost a year, I didn't hear from her at all until I received that email. In her email, she wrote, I know reaching out might be a surprise, but I've been thinking about talking to you for a while. You probably hate me, and that's fair, but I feel I owe you a proper explanation and apology. She mentioned she was in town and wanted to drop by, but saw I had company. This isn't a ploy to get back with you, she wrote. I just want to clear the air for both our peace of mind. In her email, she stated that she loved me throughout our relationship, but found it hard to express her emotions due to work and school stress. She also admitted that my mention of engagement had shaken her trust, and she should have been more open about it, but couldn't. I never slept with him while we were together. You might not believe me, but I have nothing to lose, she wrote. Reading her email was like reliving the heartbreak all over again. Each word reopened the wounds I had tried so hard to heal. She asked me to delete the email and forget she ever sent it, but that wasn't easy. After everything that had happened, 
I decided not to respond to her. I wondered what her true intentions were, but she still seemed to be justifying herself. I was curious if anyone else had experienced successful no-contact periods and what their thoughts were. I decided to confide in a friend, seeking clarity. What do you think she's trying to achieve? I asked over coffee. My friend sighed, shaking her head. It sounds like she's trying to ease her guilt, but you don't owe her anything. You've moved on. Have I? I wondered aloud. Reading her email brought everything back. It's normal, my friend reassured me. But don't let her pull you back into that darkness. You've come so far. We sat in silence for a while, the weight of the past hanging heavily in the air. Do you ever think about her? My friend asked. Sometimes, I admitted, but mostly I think about what I learned from it all. And what's that? That I deserve better, I said, finally feeling a sense of clarity. I started reading about other people's experiences, hoping to find solace in shared pain. One story stood out. A man shared how his girlfriend had left him for another man and later contracted Lyme disease. Karma, he called it. Another person wrote about how their ex-girlfriend, after cheating, developed a serious illness but remained with the person she cheated with. These stories, filled with pain and poetic justice, offered a strange comfort. One more story deeply affected me. A man had focused on his life and achieved great success after discovering his ex-girlfriend's infidelity. Meanwhile, his ex-girlfriend struggled due to her poor choices. These experiences reinforced my belief in myself and my determination to focus on my own life. The email from my ex-girlfriend reopened old wounds. However, this process taught me the importance of leaving the past behind for my own happiness and peace of mind. While I may not fully understand her motives, I am determined to move forward with my life and focus on the future. Ultimately. Everything comes down to finding our own inner peace and looking towards the future with hope. As I sat alone later that night, I thought about the past year. It had been a journey of healing, self-discovery, and growth. The pain had shaped me, but it had not defined me. I realized that the email, despite its potential to hurt, had also given me a sense of closure. I no longer needed answers from her because I had found them within myself. I picked up my phone and typed out a final message to her. I received your email. I understand you needed to say those things, but I have moved on. I wish you well. With a deep breath, I hit send, feeling a weight lift off my shoulders. As I looked out the window at the starry night sky, I felt a sense of peace wash over me. The future was uncertain, but for the first time in a long while, I felt ready to embrace it. The past was behind me and the promise of new beginnings lay ahead. Thanks for watching Lost Love Mystery. If you enjoyed this story, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more hidden truths.